Hi everyone, welcome and I am Tisha Richardson from Thomas Net and I'm here with Sandra Fathy from Affect. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm Sandra. As you mentioned, I'm president of Affect. We're a public relations and social media firm. We've been in business for about 10 years. Uh, we work primarily with B2B companies, a lot of them in the tech space as well as professional services and consumer. Excellent, excellent. excellent. What's your thoughts so far about social media week? We love Social Media Week. I mean, we wait for it every year. We've been involved with Social Media Week for the last three years, and you know, every time it comes around, it just gets better and better. Uh, what's really been nice for us is we have a lot of global partners who've been able to get involved in London and Amsterdam and San Francisco, um, and it's really nice how we've seen this community grow and, and prosper over the last few years. Awesome, awesome, awesome. What are some challenges have you faced so far as we've gone in social media marketing? I think one of the, the things that's unique for companies that are in the B2B space is understanding how to find their audience and the right platform for their message. So, for example, you know, Facebook, you have practically a billion users, but they're not on Facebook to talk about products necessarily or purchasing decisions. You know, they want to be there to connect with friends and family, to post cute pictures of their cat, <laughs> you know, to um, send around viral videos of some stupid thing someone did on YouTube, but not necessarily to, you know, buy the next router or other IT product. So it's important for B2B brand marketers to understand kind of what's appropriate on what social platform. What are three trends have you noticed in regarding B2B social media marketing in 2012? I think folks are getting much more savvy about um, finding the audiences that they want and engaging with them in intelligent ways. Uh, we're also seeing the rise of a lot of specialty or niche social media platforms. So I can go to the big guys and go to LinkedIn, I can go to Google Plus, but I can also go to a very specific group that's you know aggregated maybe on a, a Google group or a Yahoo message board that is exactly the audience that I want to reach. You know, 200 of the most important influencers in my field rather than competing with everyone and anyone on a big open social media network. Awesome, awesome. Three tips to identify content opportunities through social media. The best way to identify content opportunities is to be a phenomenal listener, you know, and to Set yourself up for success by listening for conversations, by monitoring for opportunities, and then being a great aggregator of that content. Um, I do think that, that there is value to just curating fantastic content around a topic, um, but there's even more value if you can provide a point of view or an analysis or you know, some sort of um, humorous anecdote rather than just kind of retweeting or regurgitating what someone else said. Totally awesome, awesome. Five things that you'd like to see from B2B social media marketing in 2012. I would like to see measurement really come into play. I think a lot of people are still kind of fiddling around with social media and they're spending a lot of time, maybe not necessarily a lot of money, but they're also wasting a lot of time by not measuring the return on their investment. That to me is the number one thing. Um, I'd also like to see companies put their money where their mouth is. So if they're recognizing that social media is a critical channel, then dedicate the human and the financial resources in order to seriously in invest and grow those channels. Um, I need five. <laughs> you know, another thing I would say is uh, producing fantastic content. Um, again, a lot of social media is just spinning the merry-go-round, you know, taking content from one place to another. I think for B2B brands to really stand out and be successful, they have to produce, you know, intelligence and data and guides and best practices for their clients. So I'm hoping that we'll see a lot more of that coming up in the next year. Excellent, excellent. Great interview, great interview. Is it, do, would you like to give a shout out to anyone right about now? Well, just thank you to everyone who's participating in Social Media Week, and we hope you'll follow us on Twitter, Team Effect, um, and get involved in some way. You know, we absolutely love social media. We're big social beings ourselves, and anyone who wants to connect with us, we'd, we'd love to. So have a great week.